Waypoint Flight With Waypoint Flight, you can set waypoints for different shooting locations in advance, and then generate a flight route based on the set waypoints. After finishing planning the waypoint flight, the aircraft can fly automatically along the route and help you easily complete complicated shots like dolly zoom and POI drift. The flight routes can be saved and repeated at different times to capture the changes over seasons and day-to-night effect. Setting the Obstacle Avoidance Action Before enabling the Waypoint Flight Mode, enter the system settings of DJI Fly and check the Obstacle Avoidance Action in the Safety tab. After setting the Obstacle Avoidance Action to Bypass or Brake, the aircraft will break if it detects obstacles during the waypoint flight. If set to off, the aircraft cannot sense obstacles. Enabling Waypoint Flight Tap the Waypoint Flight icon on the left side of the camera view to enable waypoint flights. Adding Waypoints and POI There are three ways to add waypoints. Using the Operation Panel, tap the plus icon on the Operation Panel to add a waypoint. Using the remote controller, press the FN button on the DJI RC-N2 remote controller or the C1 button on the DJI RC-2 remote controller to add a waypoint. Using the map, enter the map view and tap on the map to add a waypoint. It is recommended to add waypoints during the flight by using the remote controller or the operation panel, which not only is convenient for framing the shots, but also helps eliminating the risk of flying into the potential obstacles along the route. If you have a specific subject, you can add one or more points of interest to make the aircraft keep facing toward the subject while automatically flying. Tap POI to enter the POI Operation Panel. Likewise, you can use the Remote Controller, Operation Panel, or the Map to add POI. If you need to adjust the waypoints or POI locations, enter the Map view, press and hold the Waypoint icon or the POI icon, and drag it to your preferred location setting the waypoints and POI parameters. After finishing adding the points, the aircraft automatically records the related parameters for these points. To adjust the parameters, tap the waypoint number on the waypoint operation panel to set parameters like camera action, altitude, speed, heading, gimbal tilt, zoom, and hovering time. If you want to record a video during the waypoint flight, set the start waypoint's camera action to start recording. If a POI is set, you can set the heading and gimbal tilt toward the POI. Tap Apply to All. You can apply the setting of the currently selected parameter to all the waypoints. To automatically stop recording once the flight completes, you need to select the final waypoint and set the camera action to stop recording. Tap the Delete icon on the upper left corner of the panel to delete the currently selected waypoint. After finishing setting the parameters for all the waypoints, switch to the POI operation panel. Tap the POI number, adjust the altitude to the relative altitude between the subject and the takeoff point, and link the POI to waypoints. One POI can be linked to multiple waypoints. Setting the flight route parameters. Tap next to set parameters for the flight route such as global speed, the behavior for end of flight, on signal lost, and start point. The settings apply to all waypoints. The behavior for end of flight refers to the behavior of the aircraft after the flight task ends, and the behavior for on signal lost refers to the behavior of the aircraft when the remote controller signal is lost during flight. The behavior for end of flight can be set to hover, RTH, land, or back to start. Hover is recommended. The behavior for on signal loss can be set to RTH, hover, land, or continue. RTH is recommended. The settings for flight route apply to all waypoints. Performing a waypoint flight. Before takeoff, check the surrounding environment and make sure there is no obstacle along the route. Tap Go to upload the waypoint flight task. The aircraft will automatically perform the task when the upload is complete. The flight duration, waypoints, and distance will be displayed on the camera view. After the waypoint flight task begins, you can tap the pause icon to pause the task, tap the stop icon to end the task, or tap the continue icon to continue the task. You can move the pitch stick to manually adjust the flight speed during the flight. 
saving the waypoint flight task in the library. When planning a waypoint flight, the task will be generated automatically and saved. Tap the list icon on the upper left corner of the waypoint operation panel to enter the library and save the task manually. You can check the save tasks in the library and tap to open and edit the task. Tap the pencil icon to edit the task name. Slide left to delete the selected task. And tap the icon on the upper right corner to change the order the tasks are displayed. Exiting Waypoint Flight. Tap the Waypoint Flight icon on the left side of the camera view. Tap Save and Exit to save the task in the library and exit. Example, POI Drift. Next, let's see how to use the Waypoint Flight function of DJI Fly to complete a POI Drift shot. After takeoff, find your subject and adjust the aircraft to an appropriate distance and height from the subject. Tap the Waypoint Flight icon on the left side of the camera view to enable Waypoint Flight and add the first waypoint. Fly the aircraft over the subject and add a POI. Take the POI as the center and fly the aircraft to the opposite direction of the first waypoint to add the second waypoint. Tap the first waypoint. Set the camera action to start recording. Set the heading and gimbal tilt to toward POI. And then tap Apply to All to set both waypoints heading and gimbal tilt to toward POI. Adjust the rest of the parameters as needed. Tap the second waypoint and set the camera action to stop recording. Switch to the POI operation panel and adjust the altitude to the relative altitude between the subject and the takeoff point. Tap next to enter flight route setting panel. The speed should not be too fast. The recommended speed should not exceed 2 meters per second. Tap end of flight and set to hover. Tap Go to upload and perform the task. When the task is finished, view the footage and playback.